Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is XP, and today I got the high grade Gundam Barbados Lubus Rex, entirely painted, of course. Here is in all its glory. I did this guy like one, two, or even three years ago. I can't really remember. I think it was back in early 2020, so maybe two years. So here it is. I modeled this guy after the Metal Robot Spirit or the Robot Spirit Barbados Lubus Rex, of course. Going for that mm, more decaled look instead of the anime where you don't have any decals, of course. So here it is in all its glory. I will put the paint in the description below. Though it is a fairly long time ago, I don't. If I make any mistake, do please correct me. Well, you can't correct because well, <laughs> yeah, I will try. So yeah, here it is. Mm, varnish of course, everything is in uh, matte and for the main like basic color and the inner frame metallic details are with semi-gloss varnish. So yeah, let's take a close look of him, let's see his head. Yeah, following that style of the metal robot spirit, all the mechanical details are picked out, the red metallic um, hosing, um, wires, you call them, blah blah blah, or in red instead of the usual silver I would do, the back as well. You can see right there. It is, doesn't contrast very well with the dark gunmetal in the frame, but yeah. So, of course, some silver, some gold dotted around, some decals splattered all over the place. The tail blade has some decals as well. I think the gray I use is a bit too contrasty. Uh, the contrast between the white and the gray is a bit too harsh. It could have been a couple shade lighter. So yeah, there it is. The fingers are shaved. So what I did is that I, from the Basic kit, right? You, I got it. I chopped out the bit at the top to have some um, area to glue in some extra runner piece. I would cut up like a couple millimeters, like two to three at most, and then glue it with you know, plastic cement and then shave the thing down to a point. So, yeah, that's how I did the fingers. Oh, I just then painted it, isn't it? So, yeah, here is the children moves up. Hope we don't scratch the paint. Well, it's a couple of years old, so um, the danger of scratching paint is still there. I think it's the primer I use. I'm gonna change the new one pretty soon, so yeah, hopefully it mitigates the chipping. But yeah, it is arms raised, everything moves. Mm, I didn't do very much in line of what you call them. Mm, seam line removal because the newer, the, the one from season 2 are somewhat better at that. So yeah, as you see in this, uh, his arm right here. Usually it would be running like straight down the middle, but instead it is on the side. So the middle part is entirely completed. You just sandwich the two in. Like that, you can see the seam line right now. So yeah. It's easier to the eye than to have a line running straight through the middle. So yeah, not too much to worry about that. Let's bring this hand up around. Make it into some kind of more mm, imposing pose, I'd say. So yeah, you can see everything moves a bit tight, but it got a bit loose, I'd say. It's looser when I completed it. Even though the kit is painted, which is strange. Like the joints, even though they are painted, they got a bit loose. So, yeah, spread out like that. Let's see, it's looking to like jump on somebody. So, yeah. Oh, of course, the arm thing here do opens up. Oh, I try to get my disgusting fingernails in there. Yeah, it. Pulls out as well, so just like that. And then close that thing back in. 
still can be removed just like that so you have a better look oh the focus so yeah have the Barbados name on there so let's plug it back in well that's it for the basic mobile suit and next up for the accessories here is the giant mace very large a bit of silver on the bottom there a bit of silver on the tip as well it can of course extend but I usually keep it locked because I don't usually use it that much I prefer the just the claws so I'll close that then I have a couple of holding hands of course to hold the maze like that as well so yeah a pair of those of course the holder for the mace you can attach it to the back I never used this so yeah that's that and of course a wire for the tail blade yeah I'll do some posing and then we'll move on to a comparison here it is with the mace as you can see it weighs the mosu down quite a bit I'll see him leaning right to the right yeah the arms are holding up the wrists as well the wrists are very tight the arms mm, they are tight but not too much so yes still sag just a little bit here is just I don't know lowering <laughs> around with his arms open same kind of pose Give it a bit of spin just so you can see some of the details. Here is the size comparison. He's quite tall, taller than the high grade Barbados and the great ground type. I think he's one of the tallest from the series, beside the what you call him, Grey Zine and the Legend Race or the what you the one after that the one looked like a dragon for Julieta from the final battle. I don't think it's the Legend Lace. I think it's the one after that where she pilots it. So yeah. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you like the video, please consider subscribing, liking the video as well, comment down below your thoughts and feedback. So yeah, till next time, stay safe, stay awesome, have a nice day, and goodbye.